Hey y'all, welcome in again to the Screw It Yourselfer. I, I was working on the fuel line. I'd used a piece of oxygen hose for the fuel line, and it was working fine. It wasn't the correct stuff to use, but it seemed to work. So, you know, I, I went and got some, uh, some actual fuel line. And, uh, you know, a cleaned up fuel tank. It still had some sludge in it from, you know, it's, it's warehousing. So, after a long day of cleaning it out and, you know, dumping gas all over the yard, all the old, dirty, nasty gas, I put this fuel line in. Everything was tight, looked good. Put about five gallons of gas in the tank. You know, try and run the engine and see if I can get things, you know, tidied up and tuned up a little bit. We're fine. So, uh, a couple of friends came over. We were hanging out, whatever. I started smelling gas. They were getting ready to leave, and they left. And I came out here, and the fuel line was leaking. The gas had swelled the line, and uh, the connections were leaking. So, I started messing with it, and the whole thing just kind of fell off. It fell off the uh, fuel pump. And it fell off the connection behind the engine and proceeded to piss uh, five gallons of gas on my garage floor. Well, it pissed a couple of, you know, it pissed some gas and then I got, I was laying under it, trying to get the gas line back onto where it was supposed to go. And I wasn't being, I wasn't very successful at it, so I gave up doing that and I just pushed the car outside and was working on it outside. So I'm laying under under the engine trying to put this thing on. Gas is running down my arm, into my armpit, all over me. And this is uh, something that I'm not uh, foreign to. This has happened to me once before, but at least it was clean gas. So I mean, now I've got about, I never got that line back on. So I gave up and just let it piss on the ground. So now there's residual gas on the ground out in front of the garage. You can hear I got a fan going in the garage because I'm trying to vent all the gas fumes. Uh, and I'm not, it, uh, I don't seem to be too successful at venting the gas fumes either. Because I can still smell gas in the house. I don't like that. It's probably not a healthy thing. So I just got to leave this fan going for a while, I suppose, until it gets vented. Uh, I'll go back to the parts store. And tell the guy to give me some new gas line. Hopefully something a little bit smaller. So it won't fall off. Or maybe the line that it gave me is not really gas line. It's maybe something else. But chances are it's probably gas line. It just was too big. Anyway. Probably shouldn't have put that much gas in the tank. But I had grand visions of taking it for a spin. Yeah. What are you going to do? Alright, later.